Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I was not <laughs> expecting that. <laughs> Hello, people. We are back. We are live. Uh, and some of us more than others. I'm already tripping out. There we go. <laughs> Great start. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hope you've all had a fantastic Christmas. Man, you know that jazz. Um, obviously, we're in an awkward period between Christmas and New Year where people don't know anyone what day it is. It is Sunday, and we are here to give shit away and have a laugh with our friends mm -hmm. and push some advocacy as usual. Yes. Um, hopefully, there'll be a couple of other panel members joining us at some point. Um, quite a few in the chat already. Good evening, everyone. Hello. John, John, Ryan, Hello. Alex, Tracy, Monty. Michael, lots of people in there. Good evening, panel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I hope you're all well and faring better than I am. Yeah, I'm good. Doing good. We're all good. Well, I knew what we're using first tonight, then. Um, so we want to talk about uh, who do you want to go first? Yeah, who wants to show us what they're using? Oh, screw it. I'll go first and it's done. I can rest my voice then. There you go. Um, <laughs> I'm on the Geek Vape AGSX mod with Fatality M25 RTA. Cracking bit of kit. And on there, I'm vaping, vaping some um, Yorkshire Vapor. I couldn't actually tell you what the name of the juice is because I cannot for the life of me work out what it actually says. At it home, tastes though. good. Strawberries and cream and various other things. And I'm having a bit of a geek rap fest. The geek vape fest. Yeah. I'm on my ages boost. Um, and on there, I'm vaping some 50-50 Dr. Flavor Freckle, which is a local company to me, which uh, is a very nice juice company. And I uh, quite enjoy the <coughs> Especially when my voice is as bad as this. While I've got the screen on full, I would just also say thank you to everyone for the support in the EC Click Awards. Absolutely astounding that the channel came fifth in our first year we've been shortlisted. Thank you all very, very, very much. On to you guys. Josh, what are you oh, vaping okay, tonight? Josh. Josh. No, okay, next time. Evening all. <laughs> I've already taken the piss out of my chat there. Motherfucker. Don't like it. <laughs> um uh Immortal Mods Exile Resin with uh Apocalypse 25. Uh some of Andy's coils in there and some cotton candy collection cotton, and that has in it uh Unruly, which is Professor Green's juice line. This is the uh white chocolate peppermint. It's really good. Uh, been using that. that was my Christmas juice. So when I saved, and it's really good. Uh, Gripnade and another Apocalypse, and that has in it one of two juices, but I'm not quite sure which one it is. So I keep switching between them. So uh, back on the only e liquid shortcake, um, and then just some uh, 10 milligram mix salt, just because works really busy. Just so when I get a two minute vape break, I use this mainly, and that's got some. Uh, Juice head, strawberry kiwi freeze, which which is really good as well. Really like that. Yeah, um, I'm on a bit of a mix match of everything and anything. I'm on my OP, which I pulled out a couple of days ago. Uh, on that, I've got. Oh, that work, Sorry. Where did you pull it out from? Wouldn't you want to know? <laughs> Ask Des. Took me ages to get it out of his nose. Um, I'm on Drip Axe Pink Boy. Um, se second mod is my Voopoo Vinci X. And in that, I've got some of Ginger Juicy's Raspberry Treat, which is quite nice. Makes a nice little change. As always, I'm on my hog with Valhalla. And on that, I am vaping on Mod King Juicy's Tart of Lemon. And that's it for me this nice. week. Chris, why do you... Uh, sorry, Robert. Um, Chris, why are you just on that Vinci? Any leaking issues? Um, 
On the point six, I did have a leaking issue when I used the Nick salts. But I switched it to normal 70-30 juice and it was fine. On the point three, it hasn't really leaked with either Nick salt or normal juice in it. I just thought I'd ask that. I know a lot of people are having issues, haven't they? Yeah, a lot of people was. I've noticed that. I mean, that's dry as a bone. Yeah. So, fantastic little mod. I'm loving it. Sorry about that, Rabbit. Over to you, buddy. Oh, no, you're fine. Um, actually, I broke out my old slam piece. I haven't used it in a while. Uh, yeah. And it's got the, the Turk V2 RDA on it. I don't know if you can see that. And I've got a Trinity glass cap on it. I do like glass caps. And I'm dripping That's grizzled funny. white chocolate raspberry. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh. That sounds nice. That sounds awesome, man. It's really good. You get a really <laughs> sweet white chocolate on the vape, and then you get that raspberry pop. It. It's it's really nice. But that's it for me today. <coughs> Radio. Okay, dokie, dokie. Now, just to let everyone know that people are talking in the chat about the hamper drawer and everything. We're going to do that about the hour mark, as long as my voice keeps going long enough to do that. Um, <clears throat> um, all numbers and all emails have all been responded to. It will just be a random number generator. We'll pick three numbers out, uh, and then the first number will get the grip made, the second number will get the regulated kit, and the third number will get a pod kit, and we'll go from there. And don't uh, forget the person that does it. my usual before we get into giving stuff away. We don't just want to bring people on and go, there you go, here's your free shit. Not tonight. Because there is some issues. Worldwide issues going on. I know Rabbit wants to talk about T21 coming in in the States and the implications that had. And obviously there's a knock-on effect that that had on throughout Facebook and social media as well. So... Uh, Rabbit, do you want to kick off with the T21 and then I'll bring in what I want to talk about after that? Uh, yeah, we can get started on that. Okay, so a uh, disclaimer before my rant. Uh, everything that I say is my opinion only. This is not facts. This is how I feel about it. And uh, we're going to jump into it. Okay, so quick episode of Rabbit's Rants. Um, the T21 thing was signed, uh, I think it was the 20th. I think the president signed it the 20th. Um, it, it's literally like right before Christmas. You know, everyone's thinking nothing's going to happen until after New Year. Uh, you know, we're going to get through the holidays and then we'll be, you know, back on worrying about it and what we need to do next and all that stuff. And then this pops up. Um, so my shop is compliant because we believe that it being a federal law that regardless of what your state's saying, if the federal government were, were to do things, which they are saying that they are planning on doing and they came in our shop and did a sting, then they could, you know, then we could be penalized. So we decided we are going to stick with, uh, we're just going to go ahead and change all the, the, door, the, the signs on the doors and stuff and make everything 21 plus. Now, on a personal side, my personal opinion, since we opened our doors, we have gotten a lot of 18 to 20 year old smokers off of cigarettes. Um, that's, it's not a large percentage of our business. I think it's maybe maybe 10 to 15% of our business is 18 to 20. So it's not, it's not, a, it's not gonna affect us business wise. On a personal level though, I've had to turn away four people because of it. Um, these are people that I got off of cigarettes that I was proud to help them get away from cigarettes that started smoking when they were young. And, you know, vaping is an epidemic, but these kids that came into my shop at 18 years old because they finally turned 18 and they could finally come to a real vape shop and finally get away off of the cigarettes. And 
now they're being told that it's illegal again. So now they finally found relief. They finally found a way out. They finally get off of these death machines, these freaking cancer sticks. And then they're told right before Christmas, oh, guess what? It, now you're now anything that you try to, you know, buy vape related will make you an outlaw, basically. That is that that personally is eating me up a lot because when you have somebody come in that, you know, normally buys their vape juice here or buys their pods or buys their coils. And then you got to tell them, listen, I, I can't I can't sell to you anymore because I have to look out for the shop. That hurts because I, I want I want to step up and I want to be like, you know, well, fuck this. I'm going to fight the system. But if I do that then 85% of my customers lose their shop because they come in and shut us down because I sold to, you know, a couple of our 18 to 20 year olds. So does it suck and hurt that I can't get them their stuff? Yeah, it does. But I have to stay compliant with the law. Um, do I think the law, the T21 law is going to fix anything? Fuck no. I don't think it's going to help anything at all. I mean, if you think that that them being able to find it before they're 18 and then all of a sudden we're going to make it 21 that they're not going to be able to find it like that's fucking ignorant like that that doesn't even make any sense oh well we'll just raise it to 21 and all of a sudden everybody can stop getting their no that, that's not how it works if they're already getting it underage they're going to continue to get it underage like raising yeah. the fucking age doesn't affect anything except for the people that were of age that were actually using it to get off of combustible tobacco that's all it does. All you're doing is pushing more people to get it illegally because you're changing the age. That's it. It's going to blow up the fucking black market again is what it's going to do. You're going to have 18 to 20 year olds making juice in the fucking basement or in their bathroom because their friends have to have vape because they got off the tobacco. Like it's frustrating, man. It really, it's really frustrating because I think if it would have been a group thing, like if there would have been like, say, T21 and we're going to take it out of gas stations and we're going to make it only available in vape shops and we're going to stop the online sales locally, like in America. So that way it keeps kids from ordering with their parents, credit cards and IDs or even just made a better uh, like maybe a third and fourth party style a uh, way of checking ID, something like something to where they have to you know, completely verify that the people buying it are of age. Like if it was a plan, it would have made sense. But the way they did it was they snuck it in some other bill. So it's basically, you just took it from uh, kids that were 16 to 18 that were getting it illegal to now 16 to fucking 20. Yeah. So you just added a shit ton more people that have to go to the black market to get their goods because they can't go get them anywhere. Like, how does that fix anything? That doesn't fix anything. It complexes it. Like all you're doing is making it worse. Like if you're going to do that, have a fucking plan together that that has, a you know, like three, four five steps. That's going to fix multiple things at once. Don't just throw a fucking age in there. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. That doesn't affect anything at all. It just makes more people have to get it illegally. That's all it does, in my yeah. opinion. Do you think yep. they've kind of done that in a way to – Add to them numbers to give them more strength in the argument of you vaping in a way, I suppose. Or do you just honestly, think it's yes, like that, honestly, yes, I, I do. I, I think that it's a way of boosting numbers because think about it. Yeah, if I mean, and then it, and then you think about it from the other hand that the numbers that they're spitting out don't sound realistic anyway. Like they're no. they're just throwing out fucking numbers that they can come up with. Like let's say ten million teenagers because that sounds scary. We can freak the public out if we say twenty million. Like it's like they just sit in a fucking room and they go, "How are we going to destroy this industry?" I got an idea. We'll tell them it's killing people. Oh wait, they proved that that's wrong. Well, let's tell them it's fucking uh, it's addicting our kids to, to, to nicotine. Well, uh, we know that it's not that many people getting it actually underage than the ones that are were smokers before. Like we know that we have the documentation that we have proof that the smoking has dropped drastically amongst kids from 16 to 18. Like we know that as a fact. So the kids that were smoking found vaping. Do I condone underage vaping? No. 
Is vaping safer than smoking cigarettes? Yes. So all you did was make a you took a you took a, a, a problem and you made it a bigger fucking problem. You didn't fix anything. Oh, no, it's just going to escalate and escalate. Yeah. Unless when they bring in whatever Trump's bringing in with the FDA and things, unless they then attack your gas stations, your convenience stores, and put vape products in the USA in the hands of proper vape shops. If they do that as part of that, then I can see why they've done the T21. I really, really can. But if they don't do that, do you honestly think these convenience stores and petrol stations are going to be regulating it as much as vape shops will do? It's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. I'm actually glad you said that, Vinny, because we actually we actually did a little test. We called around to uh, convenience stores in the area and we asked, how old do I have to be to come in and get a pack of cigarettes or to buy a, a vaping product because I want to quit smoking? Every single one of them, every single one said 18. None of them even knew what was going on. <laughs> there wow. was and there was like two or three vape shops that didn't know what was going on. Like it's really? mind blowing. And and I got friends wow. all over the United States. Y'all know that. I have buddies from all over at, do the exact same thing in their area, in their different states. And every single convenience store said the same thing, 18 and up. None of them knew what was going on. And then people are like, well, it's going to take till, till uh, summer of next year for them to get everything uh in compliance well no shit it takes time to get the word out but if you're a responsible shop owner like me and a few others in my area are then you know what's going on and guess what we're compliant right fucking now because we have to be because it's the federal law when the president signs that fucking paper that's the law you can't take a chance of them sending in some fucking 19 year old kid and you not pardon them and then you get what fined, fined, and then shut down. Like I'm not taking that chance. I'm not doing it because I have 85% of my clientele is customers from 25 to 60, and I can't tell them that hey, I'm sorry, but we had to shut down because we had to sell to an 18 or a 19 year old. Like I'm not doing it. Like I'm not taking that chance because too many people's lives are in fucking danger, in my opinion. Like it's not it's not just about running a business and selling product to me. Like we have a fucking obligation to save people's lives. Like this shit actually helps people. And that's our job as a shop owner, as a responsible shop owner, is to get out there and fucking help people. Don't sit on your ass just to make an extra fucking dollar. Do something to help people. That's why we got in this in the first place. Bang on. Bang on. Yeah. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to go off there, but I, I'm I'm frustrated, man. This shit is we fucking understanding my life. Yes, mate. I you, mean Vaping's under threat worldwide. It's uh, it's just going to show money is king, and it's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I, I was looking at I was looking at a couple comments. But I just want to answer real quick. Uh, yeti, yeti, yes. In in the U.S. as of as of this year, I believe the tobacco and vaping's tax the same. Uh, we've been we've been we've been classified as a tobacco product, so anything tobacco related is taxed the same. Um, I thought I saw another one, but I guess I missed it. See, for the for me, the way it should have been done, if they wanted to do it, it should have been bought in at a date where it was. Well, if you're 18 to 21 now and you're vaping, that's fine. But anyone past that age or that cutoff point, if that makes sense. So if you're going to be 21 in the future, then then if we're going to bring it in, it should have been people that were already doing that can still do it. If that does that make sense? Where I'm trying to come from. Yeah, and I thought about that too. And 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 when you read the when you read the verbiage of the actual law, like the actual bill, it actually says that that is not the case. Like if you are if you are under 21, regardless of when you started smoking or vaping, it is illegal for you to buy tobacco products, which vaping is considered a tobacco product as of right now. So yeah. I, I don't know, man, I'm kind of torn on that. So yes, I think that that should probably be the case because it would help people with transition. But my problem with that is how do we know? 
Like, how do you know? Like, what if somebody just walked in and was like, I've been vaping since I was 18, but I'm 19 and a half and I, and I should be able to keep, you know what I'm saying? Like there's yeah. no way to regulate that and to know who actually is who. It should have almost been from that date though. From, from, from if that makes sense, they're going to do it from this date, the date they signed it like three years back. So obviously if that, does that make sense? But it's kind of a weird one. It's just, it's the way I thought about it when they bought in a similar law over here, when they raised, smoking from 16 to 18 you know I, I, not that i want people to smoke at all but it's a similar way i thought then um like do a cut off date this is the date does that make sense but just to go because you could be, you could be 19 and, vaping and, and that's it you've got you can't vape for another two years you, can, uh, you can't legally buy products for another two years it's disgusting yeah Corey's dead on it's called a grandfather law it's when they it's basically yeah. means that if you were doing it prior to the actual set law, then you should be able to continue to do it until you're compliant, which which I'm not saying I don't agree with. I'm just saying there's no way to regulate that. Like there's no way to actually know who was and who wasn't like you can't really do that without having a list. Yeah, no. Comment I, it, from it, Alex. It, Alex, I will come back to that when we finish yeah. the team. Anymore. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm passionate about this fucking argument because I feel like the T21 thing was stupid because there wasn't it didn't come with a plan like there's no plan. It's just flat out no more selling to people under the age of 21 like that. That to me is fucking ignorant. Like you can't you can't do that without a fucking plan like you should have had a plan like we should have had a, we, we should have had, you know, only buy vape products at licensed vape shops like places that know their shit that can help you with it that can answer questions that can help you with your setups that can help you find what you need to get you off of cigarettes take it i'm not saying you have to stop online sales but you need to make it more controllable there has to be more control with online sales you have to be able to guarantee fucking tea that the person you're selling it to is either vaping it or buying it for somebody that's old enough to vape it like we there has to be something there's a better fucking way is what I'm saying. There's a better fucking way. Like this is bullshit. Like we're being ideal. That's the only way I can see that working online is if companies are asking for identification, date of birth on it, driving license, birth certificate, passports, things like that. And again, that it's quite easy. I suppose. Well, it wouldn't be as easy to manipulate because obviously you've got an order in a certain name and the ID would have to match the name. Yeah. But obviously in America, a lot of people don't have ID like that, do they? Well, they can also take their parents' ID and, and take a picture with their smartphone and save it and then use it whenever they're doing ordering. Like there's all kinds of tricks around it. Like I'm like, there's ways of, I actually did this. Uh, I think it was like a year or two ago. We actually did a, a video showing how easy it was to order using a fake, like someone else's in, information. Like it's, it's not, it's not hard at all. And I think that's one of the problems. I think that's one of the main problems is that people are doing it. And they're ordering a bunch. Like, that's another thing. Quantity control. Like, we sh that should have been another thing is quantity control. Like, if you're going to, if someone's ordering something for them personally, they don't need 30 fucking uh, jewel uh, starter kits. They don't need 60 fucking mango jewel pods. Like, that's not reasonable. Like, set a fucking quality or quantity control so people can only order what they need for them. So they're not ordering them to make a profit and to sell to teenagers. Like, there's ways to fix it. But it's easier for them just to go, fuck it. Nobody can vape over 21. Like that, to me, that doesn't make any sense. You're not fixing anything. You're just finding Sounds like it was a half ass thing to do. They're just making it hard for everybody. Can you answer that question? Um, yes, I, I'm pretty sure. Oh, as far <laughs> as the gums, no, I don't think so. I think anything that's nicotine related, like anything, tobacco, products, dip, Cigarettes, vaping, patches, gum, pills, <coughs> all of it has to be 21 and older. Because it's called the Tobacco 21 Law. So anything tobacco oh, yeah. nicotine related, that's what the T is for. It's Tobacco 21. So anything tobacco nicotine related has to be 21 or older. So you're basically turning 18 to 20 year olds into outlaws overnight. Yeah. Like they either yeah. stop. I even posted about it and I said, I pray to God that my 18 to 20 year olds 
finally find like finally stop smoking altogether. If you if, if you're not going to find a way to get their vape, then just don't. Can, can I ask how many eighteen to twenty one year olds work in vape shops? I mean, none of them as of now that I know of. But at a time, yes, there were everywhere. Like, it, uh, so a lot of them, that are, a lot of those are going to lose their jobs because unless you're related to the owner, you can't work Definitely there. But, I mean, because uh, I know vape shops over here. I mean, I know a lot of uh, there's a lot of young guys that work in vape shops, eighteen to twenty one. Um, you know, it's that's it. They just lose their job overnight. That's it. Sorry, you can't work here anymore. You've lost your job. Mm. It's just. And what do they do for them people? They don't. They they they, they just fire them. Like <laughs> there's nothing yeah. they can do. Precisely. Then they're out on the ass and they're screwed. Yep, it's the same thing with alcohol products. Like you have to be of age to sell them because you have to be of age to purchase them to sell them. It's the same thing with tobacco products. Unless you're related, unless you're a direct re relation to the owner of the company. So if my 17 year old son wanted to come work for me during the summer at my shop that I own, he could, but I couldn't hire his friend because his friend is underage. Really? Yeah. It's fucking weird, man. I know. That is fucked up. Yeah. Wow. Personally, I think it was a half assed thing to do just to try and please those that don't want vaping in the industry. Oh, that's all it was. It was a step to get them to make them shut the fuck up for the holidays. And and, yeah. then, and then after the holidays, they're going to be like, well, this still ain't working. Now we've got 30 million kids vaping. Like, you know, damn well, here comes January and we're going to have these fucking fake ass organizations that <coughs> talk about how more kids are vaping now because the age is T21. Like, I guarantee you we're going to see that next month. Like, it, it it's just it's fucking mind blowing, man. It's. Oh, it just seems like no one's using the head. Said there that uh, they're just pushing wanting, EU, what uh, TPD three to be T twenty one. I'm going to talk a bit about TPD two and three in a little while. Yeah, I saw a little something. If my voice can stand up to it, obviously, I will talk about that in a little while. But yeah, obviously with the T21, there's been a knock-on on Facebook. All the sheep in the Facebook groups have all been changing their Facebook group names to add uh, 21 instead of over 18 now, which is even more ridiculous because you can't even do sales through Facebook. Surely it's not against the law for people yeah. under 21 yeah. to look at vapes because you can't actually buy them on Facebook at all. Well, the problem with that, the problem with that is the third party sales. So you have you have these Facebook groups that are buy, sell, trade groups. And then you have somebody that's 18 to 20 in there and they make a deal in that group. <laughs> then you turn around and you shut the group down. Yeah, but that's I mean, that's it's just how it is here because fucking yeah. Facebook is owned by our government you now. <laughs> well, Zuckerberg, yeah, and his friends. But you've also got to consider Mr. Zuckerberg has his uh, his um, hands in a vape product as well. Yes. Oh, that one we know. talked about weeks and weeks ago that's come out with him and the Amazon owner and the owner of Google. It's like $400 or whatever it was. Yeah. But yeah. It's ridiculous, man. Mm. It's... I've, I personally believe it should be vape shop controlled, and that's it in a way. Yeah, I mean, it's yes. not even just in the vapes. That should be how it is everywhere. This is, this is what we yeah. said it the way, isn't it? it? Like let the vape. I shops mean, you can't take away online yeah. sales. Yeah. At the end of the day, how are you going to stop online sales? Kind of thing. The internet is a different beast altogether, kind of thing. But I do believe it should be. Vape shops. Yeah. Should be licensed vape shops. I think that's the big yeah. key that needs to be stressed. Every exactly. vape shop, regardless of where they are in the world, should have some sort of licensing because at the end of the day, all these governments are saying that it's a tobacco product. Nicotine is not just a tobacco product. But anyway, 
because of that, every vape shop everywhere should be licensed. Sorry, Rabbi, I know it might cost you a few bob to get a license if that happened. But so what? That gives people the protection and the uniformity of actually behaving to them age restrictions. And hopefully that may lead to a drop in youth vaping. But like Rabbi said, when we were kids, things we did mostly was illegal or we weren't old enough to do them like drinking and things like that we all still managed to get old and stuff we wanted to get old on and oh, you can yeah. do that now. quite clearly you can do that now no issues at all. but it's uh yeah i it's mean an interesting... how old is it for a kid to nick one of the parents fags i mean that's how i started i used to nick my mum's fags how old was it for us to get into the big into the liquor cabinet as a kid very easy yeah, that's what I'm on about. It. It's just one of them things. Right, obviously, Vic's in the chat talking about the uh, CPD things and the things that are going on. So I'm going to move on quickly to talk a little bit about that, seeing as we're still about half hour away from doing the reward draw. Um, seemingly, things are changing with. Um, our TPD laws in the EU and lots of things are afoot. Uh, talking to a few people and learning a few things because I've been pretty much sort of on the outside and I've sort of got my way into the discussions a little bit of what's going on and spoken to a few people. And seemingly the World Health Organization has got stuck in to attacking vaping. Um, not sure entirely why. Rumours of FDA money um, being donated to the World Health, Health Organization. Again, I cannot confirm or deny that. But seemingly, the World Health Organization are going against other organizations now and attacking flavors, um, amongst other things, um, saying like gateways to youth vaping and things like that, which isn't a massive thing in the UK, I know I, I, I very nearly used the word e epidemic there, but I hate that word so much now yeah. but obviously these things are now coming in and being discussed for the EU and which as far as I know with us not leaving the EU until the end of December next year would automatically be passed into UK law uh, whether it stays as UK or after that I'm not entirely sure about yet but there are definitely things afoot. Obviously, the World Health Organization are a massive, massive health body that advise global health, not just European health. It's the World Health Organization, and then kind of gives it away. Uh, they're getting really, really heavily involved on the anti-vaping side, unfortunately, which is uh, a bit of the kick in the teeth for me as a health professional. We've seen a lot. Looking Our standing is in the UK at present, it's just there's a lot of things. People need to not think, like I was doing, that because we've got the National Institute of Clinical Excellence, Public Health England, the Royal College of Physicians, the UK and our vaping and our flavours and everything involved in that is safe. It definitely right. isn't. If the World, World Health Organisation gets stuck into this TPD ruling and get people's ears and, and, and things like that. Things could change dramatically for the UK and Europe. And obviously, the European vape market is immense. It's, it's bigger than a lot of the others always together. Let's be honest, it's huge with all the countries. Um, so don't think we're safe. We need to be advocating. I know we prattle on and people are probably pig sick of us rabbiting on and forcing um, vape advocacy down people's necks. But we need to. Everybody needs to. It's not just America. It's not just Australia and New Zealand, India, Canada. It's coming to us. And okay. we need to be ready for it. And I need my voice back to help that fight. But it's <laughs> not just out there. People like us on here Vic, I know, does an awful lot. and uh, A lot of the other reviewers do an awful lot. We've just got to get so active out of the vape community. We've got to get active in the public domain 
and educate. <coughs> It's, it, it's not so much advocacy, it's educate. Because we know that vaping has changed our health. Well, I know it will sound like it in a minute on my throat. From smokers <laughs> to vaping. But we all know what a difference that's made to us health-wise. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be under attack on a global scale now. It's just, it's just going to take off big time. Um People need to check out Ethra, E H R A, and the NNA UK um, for some details. They're all over Twitter, they're all over Facebook. You can email them. We're actually going to get the guys, some of them, on a show very, very <coughs> soon. Talk about these discussions around TPD 2 slash 3, whichever one they'll end up being. Uh, we need to mobilize on a bigger scale than we even saw in America with that Washington thing, is that comes to our doorstep, the UK needs to wake up, all these people yattering away going, it don't bother us, it don't affect us it's going to bother us, and it is going to affect us you bloody hell off now mate, you're fine this is what we're all about yeah, and NNA UK, you definitely go check them out, do a Google search, check NNA UK they're doing a lot of, lot of good work on behalf of vapors within the UK and Europe. Um, uh, it's uh, a bit like the VTA, isn't it? Um, Robert, you've got over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so well, this is our version of um, uh, Yeah, it's everywhere's, everywhere's coming under attack. Everyone thinking everyone's yep. safe. It's just affecting America, it's just affecting Australia, it's just affecting New Zealand. And, no. and, and like three or four months ago, we even said that. We said that it's not yeah. just the US, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a snowball effect. We're gonna see it everywhere else, it's gonna get worse. And sure enough, here we are in December, the almost the end of the year, and we're dealing with more shit, and it's only snowballing. And it's it's devastating because every single thing that we have that they have brought as an attack on us, we have proved otherwise. And it's like it doesn't matter to them. Like they don't care. Like I, I, I don't know if y'all are, but I'm I'm actually following a lot of the anti vaping groups. So when I see a lot of posts about it, I get on there and correct them on ninety percent of the stuff they're posting because they just post stuff just to get a rise, just to see what people are going to say to get more people to hate vaping. So I'm constantly educating customers and I'm constantly getting on these posts and talking to these people about, listen, I understand y'all don't like Juul because y'all have pinpointed, y'all pinpointed Juul to be the number one culprit in a lot of these things. And that's fine, you know, but stop lumping us into Juul. Vaping is yeah. not Juul. They're completely different things. If we want to get kids off of them, let's work together to do it. If we work together, we can actually make a difference. If we're sitting here fighting each other and meanwhile, Jules winning, like we have to work together. We have to. We got to stop this fucking bickering and infighting because it's not going to help anything. It's just going to, they're just going to sit back and watch us destroy each other. And then they're going to come in and wipe up all the bodies. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's the, uh, whole thing about big pharma getting involved now especially over here in the uk and europe it's not so much big tobacco over here well unlike in the states i suppose big pharma again noses in and, and things as well here now uh i think that could have some severe knock-on effects for vape shops in the uk and in europe <coughs> excuse me but hopefully we'll be able to uh stifle them somewhat but it, it, I'm not so sure not on the future if I'm completely honest now and it's worrying and I, I, I feel for Rabbit obviously over there in the States it's, it's worrying times globally and people need to realise like we've been saying this will snowball this will continue to snowball and it's, it's, it, it's banging on our door it really yep. is banging on our door never I'm mind true compact Joel uh, bloody uh, lobbying our politicians over here to increase the nicotine levels because we've obviously got our nicotine levels set at 20 milligrams and Joel are trying to get that set now to 36. 
No. But I, I don't think I don't think they're going to do it with this uh, the World Health Organization getting involved in the TPD discussions. It's uh, worrying times. It really, is worrying times. And nobody needs that to quit vape or to quit smoking. That's just to get a, a head. You're just trying to get high off of it at that point. Anything yeah. over that, anything over that, you're just trying to get high. You're not using it to quit. Like, let's be real. I mean, I'll, use, I'll use these twenty milligram ones, and I'm seriously on the next set. I'll buy. I'm actually not going to buy twenty milligram. I'm actually going to buy a ten because I'm finding twenty is just too strong for me. Yeah. It's, yeah. 20 milligrams. I can understand you using it as an aid. I've completely stopped using them. Yeah, same here. Okay. I don't use them at all anymore. That's why I haven't used my smart. I haven't used my smart in weeks. Yeah, I started using 12 yeah. milligram 50 50 in my pod systems about uh, eight eight to ten months ago, and that's all I use. I try to stay away from the salts. Um, this yeah. is standard three milligram 70 30. I, I personally try. I don't mind Nick Salt, but nothing like 10 is tops. That's it. I wanted to say real quick, because I got some family stuff I got to do today, but I had to get on here because I wanted to talk about the T21 thing. But I just want to say to all the leaguers that we love you guys. Um, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be able to stay on for the drawing, but I wish everybody good luck. Um, it's actually uh, we actually got a pretty good response on it, and I'm happy for that. Um, hopefully y'all will keep pitching and keep following us through the new year because 2020 is going to be huge. We've all been working behind the scenes on a lot of cool things that we got planned for next year. That's why we've been kind of quiet on the pages and stuff, but we are, y'all are going to see a big rise in the LXV coming, uh, coming out in January. So be ready. And, uh, I love all you leaguers. Um, thank you for all the support and I'll see all you guys later. So y'all have a good night. Don't Love leave you, us. Rabbit. Thank you, brother. See you later, Rabbit. Bye. Oh, oh I miss you. Yeah, bring you back. Already. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes, that's <laughs> that's I suppose in a way, that's the advocacy side all pushed and done with. Now we can sit yep. back and relax and have a laugh and give some shit away. Well, how was your Christmas? Uh, well, as you know, I was working, so my Christmas day was a bit different. Obviously, my chosen profession is a 24-hour, seven days a week profession. So, yeah, I worked Christmas day and came home and had my Christmas tea with my family afterwards. But I saw, I got the kids up early so I could watch them open the presents and everything first, so it was all good. How about yeah, you guys? Yeah, Josh? Nice. yeah, I had a great Christmas. I was I was ill. Um Got, got myself a lovely. Uh, but, uh, uh, all, all, all the things I love about Christmas, which is eating far too much, I didn't really get to do. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah. that's a great Christmas. You know, my daughter's four and a half now, so it's, she was super yeah. excited. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they always get Christmas. very excited at Christmas it, at that age. It's so lovely to see, and, and great to see all the family, like my side and the wife's side. You know, um, lots of them, far too many of them, but. Um, yeah, it's great. It's really nice. Apart from being ill, it was fantastic. <laughs> and then straight back to work of a straight back to work on Boxing Day of a bang. So for the sales, always fun. But yeah, yeah, I never understand why people decide to go shopping Boxing Day. You've just had a you know some presents. You've had a nice day, and the first thing that comes to your head is we'll go shopping tomorrow. For the day. Nate, you know what? Boxing Day doesn't bother me too much. New Year's Day, I'm working New Year's Day. I've been working New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and I've got uh, same here, bro. Same here. Um, a new, not, new year's eve a six and a half hour dj set so uh <laughs> 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 let's see how fresh i am for work on new year's day <laughs> <laughs> see how well you feel yeah yeah it'll be fun, it'll be fun. well as but, many of you know I've, I've got a teenage daughter so my christmas was pretty much makeup 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 with a bunch of other things you're just watching her open loads of makeup or i'm just sat here like yeah, very nice. <laughs> Not even a clue off of the stuff she's got. So, just just a comment from Alex there. I mean, obviously, I hope we leave the EU before TPD. If we leave the I EU, we're going to follow TPD. We still might do. It's. <laughs> I want to say, even if we do leave the EU, 
oh, we'll still have to stay within line of some of the stuff within the EU to keep a trade deal yeah. open with the EU. And I can't really see the British government really being too bothered about the rulings of vaping and TPD. Kind of thing. I can see they'll just say, yeah, we'll just stick to what you guys want with that. And that's a very scary thought. And I think Vincent's frozen. He's back. Yeah. Oh, no, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was minding the early, early days of this show. <laughs> but it's freezing. I swear it's just like our early days back when we first started this show. Did the next door have a good Christmas? That's what I want to know. I- yeah, let's see what, what the league see what the league has had. I said, did the league not have a good Christmas? Yeah, leaguers. Let's have a look. Lag is always real with uh, my lag is great. Yeah. Yeah. I've spent money. most of the show trying to get enough charge in my Kindle, but well, in my Samsung tablet, to actually be able to jump on the show to actually see the comments. I mean, I couldn't be bothered to set the little table up and all my light and everything. Yeah. Just show Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, I think my missus having a real hard time downstairs with the kids. Oh well. Attacker, <laughs> what did I get? I got the usual. Oh, is my lag again? <laughs> oh dear. I'm using my right. phone this week. And Lord hell am I gonna keep switching and changing? Are we uh are we gonna do this lovely reward a little bit early then or are we gonna wait for an hour? We're gonna wait till the hour mark. Oh so we do one, should we do the the big one? Or should we do it no, in reverse do the, order? Do the third oh, one. We do it right right order. Order. Yeah, reverse order, yeah. Let's do the pod first. Yeah, do the pod first and then build up. But guys, Go please on. remember, if you do win the mech, we will be asking you some questions to make sure you are, you know how to use a Unless mech. Unless we obviously know you. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of the people that entered, we do actually know already. So, uh, right. We have 25 in. There's numbers 1 to 5, 25 on a random number generator. I'm going to tap it three times. One. And this is for the this is for third place. This is for the this, this is for the third place to pod one, and it is number seven. I shall quickly go find out who number seven is. You watch it will be John Witt again. Uh, he seems to win everything. John will win the big one, man. Oh, John will win the big one. Do you know how desperate I am for a grip nade? There's only two grip nades that I wanted. The Battle Worn, which Attacko got, and I've seen it. Right? And the and the bra the um, brass. Six. Yeah, you see, like I've I've obviously got my black and grey, which That's quite um, nice, but yeah. John Goodwin, he's already commented. He, John Goodwin, you have won the pod system, whatever it is that's coming from uh, Zippy. Congratulations, Congratulations. John Goodwin. Good, good. That saves me looking like a tool on my phone. John Goodwin, congratulations. <laughs> you have won a pod system with some liquids, <laughs> probably salt, hopefully. You, you'd if you'd like to email your address to the LXV email address, that can be sorted out for you. Guys. I will. Now, shall we leave it in 45 minutes for the next one? No, because <laughs> I don't think we've got enough content to leave it for 45 minutes. We'll leave it another few minutes. So. <laughs> I don't think my we'll voice would last that long either, if I'm honest. Yeah, congratulations, Don Goodwin. How do you get the numbers? You should have watched the last two shows. And there was numbers generated uh, via emails. You had to email two codes. If you did both codes, you got two numbers. Um, if you have emailed John Best and entered, you should have an email reply with a number. 
There you go, Ataku. Ataku was the man. Obviously, Ataku's in chat tonight, being our chat moderator. Um, Enjoy the so, start. So we now do the regulated draw. Ataku's been on that. We could do the regulated draw. Yeah. We can. So what we'll regulated? Draw. Draw. We know. I believe it's a Vupu, Vupu drag. Oh, a Vupu drag. Rick's still not yeah. in the chat because his head will probably ex explode that we're giving away a Vupu. It's not his <laughs> favourite company. Nothing wrong with Vupu drags. Oh, so, oh, yeah, all right, just whatever. Um, that one is number 10. So, Taku, in the chat, buddy, who was number 10? Let's see if you can find it before me. Uh, 7, 8, 9... Ten, damn it, Chupa. Oh, that's going. That's uh, that's states. Is it the states? That's the states. Yeah. Right now, the, 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 we're sending a Vupu drag kit over to the states. Uh, damn it, Chupa. That, that, uh, that's William Carmen, I believe. Uh, William, drop us an email. I better put the email up. And our rabbit's not he here was, to do it for me. He was in chat yeah. earlier. Uh, he was in chat earlier, definitely. I'm trying to see if they've actually commented, posted a comment in the YouTube chat. There is oh, the email for the winners. I shall leave that up. I'm friends with him. I'll tag him in the chat. Yeah, and there the he is. You've seen it on the Facebook. So. Well done, William. Well done, Mr. Yeah, well Carmen. Boopy drag coming your way, bro. Uh, Thank you. Thank you for uh, doing what you had to do. Yeah, right. We've got one number, and this is the big one for the Immortal Mods Gripnade. Very kindly donated by Mr. Josh. Here, there it is the actual Gripnade. It's a very I'm nice sure. mechanical mod. Very nice mechanical mod, indeed. There you go. They are very nice. Shiny, shiny. Lines. Not fine. Who wants to win a grip made apart from Chris? Oh, <laughs> yeah, Actually, both me and Josh got one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the big one. Yes. Grip, made. Made grip made with juice, which we will be sending on. So we go. <coughs> Hey there. One, two, three, and it's number one. Number one. Whoever number yeah. one is has won a grip made. Let's see. Who is. Number one. I really hope it plays the game today. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah with Tracy Hagen. Oh, well done, Tracy. Oh. Are you a Tracy man? Hagen has won the quick nade, and John Whitaker's run of luck is gone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, finally. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry, John. Until the night Tracy pot gets put up. The quick nade. Congratulations, Tracy. That will go very nice with her Odin that she had. She very oh. recently got an Odin. So that's very nice. I'm quite glad it's gone that way. Tracy's always in chat. She's always very chatty. She's always yeah. yeah she's it's, it's a regular for a long time. So well done, Tracy. That's awesome. Congratulations. That is superb. Absolutely. She's probably now running around the living room going woohoo. If um if you get the address sent over, I'm off tomorrow. I'll get I'll get the grip made out. So yeah, and all the juice and that will come in afterwards because that's coming from various places that we've all organised. So uh, congratulations to all our winners on our Christmas hampers. That is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased. A lot of regulars have actually won the hampers. So that is superb. Absolutely superb. Now, you yeah, get the address across, Tracy. I'll get it out tomorrow. You'll probably have it Tuesday. So... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't coming to you if you're a gooner. 100% not. <laughs> <laughs> North London, oh. is white. North London is white. 
<laughs> now, while we're, on, while we're on the subject of rewards, I would like to point out that I'm on the reviewing side of me, not the LXV side of me. I'm going to be doing a few little rewards as well with some vape tiao. How the hell do you say it? V A P T I O. Vaptio. Vaptio. Yeah. I'm going to be doing a couple of giveaways for them. Is you just um, kissing, kissing your badge, Josh? Yeah. Yeah, he's kissing his yin army badge. You can't say yin. He's having a bit of banter with Yeti. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be doing a couple of giveaways for Vape Tiao and for Geek Vape as well. The Geek Vape one's quite nice because it's going to be one of these with the RDTA. Ooh. Ooh. And the more they enter the Geek Vape one, the more they're going to give us to give away. Ooh. It's a good job we don't do this show on a Thursday night, innit? Because all those goodness when we had a watch. Sorry. Anyway, did uh, did anybody have anything nice for Christmas vape related apart from Paul, who is not on the show tonight? Because we all know what he got. Um, technically, didn't he? I didn't get a thing. I got that. Oh. Well, yeah, technically, you got that, Chris, didn't you? I don't get ball yeah. tape stuff by the wife. No, neither do I, man. No, more boys. Last year, she leaves it all day. Last, last year, I got a bottle of uh, Bogan Brews, and I think I had the first bottle of Bogan Brews in the country last year, <laughs> randomly enough. Nice. And uh, and I got bought some uh, and I got bought some flavor boss stuff because you know the wife likes it so she's buying some for herself anyway. <laughs> so I love that the comments you're getting some stick in the chat, Josh. Oh man, I'm used to it. <laughs> I've been a first man since I can remember. I'm used to getting the stick, man. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you should be used to getting stick. Evening you? flat cap. Yeah, yeah, I had um, I had a very magical bottle of Disarana, as I mentioned earlier. <laughs> it's not good, eh, Chris, because you can't even remember talking to me. <laughs> yeah, I remember opening it Boxing Day, having just a little sip of it, and then waking up and there was nothing left. Don't know what happened to it. <sighs> Alex says he got five resin drip tips. Some nice. Samsung batteries and some juice. Very nice. His trip tips are quite nice. He, he just sent me a pic of them. Thank you very much, Flat Cap. I've just seen your comment. I had yeah. a few tech issues as usual there. Uh, yeah, I was very, very humbled by that Flat Cap. I, I know Vinny was very surprised, and uh, but he does good oh, work. Yeah. yeah. I'd have been happy with ninth. <laughs> just wanted to beat somebody. <laughs> I remember getting the message on WhatsApp. He's like, oh, with a screenshot of it. He's like, on fifth place. I'm like, bloody hell, wow. Yeah. <laughs> he was all beaming. <laughs> that made you Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. All the hate. All the hate. All the hate for this to shout tonight. I'm going to wear it every show now. Every show. Hey, at least it's not aimed at me for a change. I'm quite pleased yeah. it's aimed at someone else. Do you know what? Yeah. I've got another about 20 spur shirts that I can wear, so I might just change them up throughout the year. You know what you need to do, Josh, is get them on a wall behind you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could be worse. You could have my hometown team. You say you know what your hometown team is, Chris. Well, I'm I mean, from Wolverhampton. Oh, Wolves. So don't say yeah. that because... My 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 best friend's a Wolves fan. <laughs> my best mate's a Wolves fan, so. Yeah, I live about seven um, minutes drive away from Villa as well. I've gone yeah, past there a bunch of times. Tell I'm, me right, I'm one of those football fans. I don't really hold any animosity against any other any other football fan, you support what you support and you enjoy it for the sake of it. Yeah. yeah. I was brought up a Spurs fan. I'll always be a Spurs fan. That's the way it works. 
I stopped bothering with football about 15 years ago. <laughs> Never really bothered with football. Uh, give me a, give me an oval shaped ball any day to wear around one. <laughs> yeah, where I'm actually from, which is Exeter, you know, we've got one of the best rugby teams in the UK, but, you know. Exeter Chiefs, I, indeed you have. I just, don't like, good team. I just don't like rugby that much. I've been up there three or four times and I just find it boring. <laughs> <laughs> I sit at the bar and tend to drink too much. Yeah. All right, um, now we are looking for a, a, a new member of the panel, seeing as Josh has now left us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, because I'm from next there? <laughs> <coughs> no, because you said you don't like rugby. <laughs> uh, uh, I, was always, I was always made to play it because I was quite big, but heart, yeah. wasn't in it. heart wasn't in it. There you go, I'm with right for it. <laughs> to be well, honest, on Arcus for Christmas, lovely, lovely present. Well, I've I, never really been a big sports fan. I only retired from rugby last year, and the season before that, I was obviously doing my training for my job at the time. I actually fell on this chap, and he made a bit of a squeal. Um, now, me being me, and obviously the training I was undergoing for my job at the time, uh, I quickly jumped off him and, and started to assess him. And we got an ambulance out. And, yeah, it turned out that I'd broken his hip. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. I thought he was fine because he was moving, but no, he'd broken his hip. <laughs> so, yeah, that's when I uh, kind of thought I'd better stop playing this pretty soon because if that happens to me, I am screwed. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, see, I, don't, um, I don't do real man sports. I like football. I play golf. And I used to play, <laughs> you know, that <laughs> was that. <laughs> I boxed for a while until I realised I was far too unfit to box. <laughs> it was an absolute pleasure. <laughs> Yeah, John Wicker, I used to be absolutely covered in electrical insulation tape. I'd have a roll on my right knee, a roll on my left knee, and half a roll on my elbow, both thumbs because they're knackered. And I, I was more tape than man. And where there wasn't tape, there was neoprene holding me together. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a clue into something that I'm more into. Fair enough. Motorbikes. Yeah, I love motorbikes. I thought you were say gaming then, because you're selling your ass all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't play much anymore, to be honest. Really? Mm -hmm. I just yeah. I've just got to that really? age point in my life where I just don't really. I think don't it's wait, been about... a very good point there, Chris. Huh? Oh yes, dearie. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't like jigsaws. They like what? Jigsaws. Jigsaws. Yeah. like jigsaws. No, Suzuki, Suzuki jigsaw, GSXR. Oh, right. Yeah. No, no more bikes. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't. <laughs> I'm definitely not a Suzuki guy. After. Oh, uh... Sorry, Honda. Have you got a Harley, Chris? Lucy Foot wants to know. No, I'm not rich. <laughs> You're probably looking about. Quit blaming when I started raping. Yeah, it, for the last year and a half, I've slowly like getting bored of it. Metal to the core. I quit gaming when I started vaping. Yeah, you can't really fund gaming and vaping, can you? It's uh... no. Uh, vaping is an expensive hobby. Yeah, especially for the <laughs> hobby paper, it's, uh, it can be very expensive. <laughs> Unless you win a nice hamper and, and get a very Unless nice... you, paid, you know. <laughs> oh, see, this is cool. Anyway, we got anything more to talk about? Vape related, vape world related, maybe something nice, you know. Football or men in leathers. Well, I heard this uh, vape talk show just gave away a load of quality hampers. They did. I, I, oh, I yeah. don't know it is, but I won't be part of that. 
Uh, are you a coil maker? Metal to the core. Ah, uh, metal to the core. I see. Uh, I'm not so switched on today. Yeah, uh, you're a wire wizard. That's what I call you, coil makers. Yeah, wire well, wizard. Quality coil bank makers are, uh, are, yeah. are a different breed, man. I mean, yeah, I, I, I can't do wires. I, I, I just, yeah. They all say I'm it's fine. easy. They all say it's easy, and it's not. You know, I can make a clap then. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, same here. I can make my eighty. <laughs> We need to make a round wire, and that's it. I'm flat. I can do flat wire. Oh, <laughs> you've gone up in the world. Wire. <laughs> it took me. Yeah, I can't do the, the, the yeah. It took See, me a year another, to learn how to do fuse claptons. And another coil builder saying it is easy. It yeah. me that one, if you can. It's, right trail, I think, but it's not easy. I've tried. Easy, man. You're artists. You are artists, and we appreciate I what you do. You're a right mess. I've tried. tried. I mean, well, I haven't used any other coils apart from Sub Zero coils since I met Andy, but you know, the problem with Andy's coils is they last too long, so he, just, he hasn't got much repeat business. <laughs> <laughs> I have not tried it in a while, making them. You should watch a couple of reviews, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy, what RDA are you going to put on top of this grip made then? I'm interested to know. <laughs> I don't want to watch. It's got RDA wise. I've just got a couple of RDA. No joy captain. She'll throw an no joy captain on top of it. But uh, call me Tesla. Hey, no slagging off Tesla. They might be. Oh, so I'll let a little secret out to the whole of the. 20 people watching. Yeah, do <laughs> I might be doing something with Tesla. The vape company, that is, not the car company. Yeah, yeah, the vape company, Tesla 6. Well, so was that you that designed that bloody 4x4 four four of theirs? <laughs> hey, that would have been how I designed it. <laughs> oh, I and then when he, he got that blow to go and hit the window and he just shattered. <laughs> Till wow. we Oh, my bloody APOC. I miss my A. I still not replaced it. <laughs> I am. I need to... I'll sort you one out, bro. Not a problem. <laughs> I need to get gears. I've not got a gears one yet. I've, I'm yet to get my hands on a bloody APOC. Yeah, see, I like them. They're nice. That is really nice. I prefer the gears, and I, I prefer the gears, and I prefer, yeah, like the. Like obviously that is that because that's the way that comes. But I'm not the biggest yeah. fan of like that would be the B1 epoch to most people. But I I like it obviously. I, I love it obviously. <laughs> I prefer the other style. I wish that was done in that if that makes sense. So. Yeah, you wanted a, a, a gears in the uh, Damascus finish. Oh, I love so Damascus. That's the that's the, uh, that's the American. Like flag, the American flag one. The titanium. Yeah. See, I prefer the titanium to be shiny, personally. Obviously, I've yeah, got... Yeah, it's paradise titanium. But it's got a silver deck, so... Yeah, that makes so much difference. Tracy said she's going to have a look around and see... What she's got. Uh, but she prefers RTAs, so... Uh, I must I'll tell, tell you what... i tell you what looks good on a grip nade is a fatality... There you go. Well, uh, I I would say it's the best RTA to have ever come on the market. You know what? I had a few. I've had a few wicked issues. See, I've not. I just I just chuck cotton in, and it just seems to work. But then this is Venus. Yeah. He's got sausage it's fingers. So. An RTA that runs better where less is more, cotton wise. As long as you've got a decent RD, RDA with uh, I'm sorry, an RTA with a decent pin, then you find he's got it. It's fine, not a problem. I was quite, it's quite recent I started using RTAs on mechs, but I quite like it. It's quite nice. Like I said, mainly a fatality, but. Metal to the core, are you a UK coil maker? If you are, drop me a message, buddy. Drop the vaping mini page a message. We'll, uh... Yeah, we'll take some coils off you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. We'll pay for them. Like. <laughs> Tracy says she's probably going to buy something new. 
three days until Pip goes in the bank. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, mail to the court, definitely. Drop us a drop us a message. Either the LXV page or my vaping Vinny page. Uh, we'll have a natter and, and see what we can do and, and do you a bit of promo, buddy, quite happily. And, and things. Yeah, my spot my pod just spectacularly died in this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tell you what, talking of pods, I'm going back to the boost again. No. The most I got out of one of these coils was 3,200. The Jeez. other day I got 3,550 plus to a coil before the coil went. That's insane. Off a three big coil. That's been there, that's been there for about two weeks. I mean, that's that's my probably my biggest gripe with these is the is the pods don't last that long. Yeah. <coughs> and they're fine and they're fine and they're fine and just like that they just go and they just taste like absolute dog shit <laughs> yeah, anybody yeah, else like the right, just hit us up or drop your Instagram and yeah whatever buddy we'll have a look maybe Vinny on Instagram Alex V are on Instagram yeah. uh, Chris Vapes is on Instagram yeah I'm uh, JT I'm Josh I can never remember what yours is uh, JTG Vapes, uh, Immortal fan, because you know, <laughs> I can never not... remember that. <laughs> but you can just type in J. Well, there is another JTG Vapes, and he's a complete imposter, so don't follow him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you'll, you'll know mine. It's got the good pictures on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Wait, I was never was a fan of an RTA on a Mac. To be honest, all the ones I'd used, I hated on Macs until the fatality. And when I first got that, I banged it on the <laughs> Atom, which I've still got to finish reviewing. And it, it blew me away on the Atom. It really did. Really blew me away. Oh, yeah. I've got, I've got this up here as well. This thing is fucking amazing for what, for what it cost. The Aspire Mulos. Yeah. I'm, uh, I can't actually recommend this. A few other companies, and uh, hopefully Aspire is one of them that's going to start using me for some reviews. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm quite glad to say this is for, for 45 quid or whatever it cost me. I mean, yeah. Have you seen Smoker putting out a new RPM as well? Oh, I'm not. Putting out an RPM Pro, they're calling it, and that's got uh, 18650 in it. So is it, yeah. is it basically like a – so they do a Vinci R as well, don't they, that takes a battery? Is that correct? That's the X in it. Is it the Vinci X, Chris, the you've got there? Yeah, I've got the X. Yeah. I have seen an R about, but I'm not sure what that one's about. Haven't no, I've seen, I've seen an R as well, and I'm pretty sure it's a single 18650. I'm going to yeah. have to do that. Uh, hold on. I have to admit, this is a great little mic, little pod. Great. been great. I've used it pretty much daily. John Whitt can tell you to get the 510 adapter, Chris. Apparently there's a yeah, he messaged me earlier. I did look at it, but because I'm doing the show, I couldn't really do both at the same time on my phone. I was going to catch up with you on that one. Um, I did you know, see I the, the other day. Uh, the AA Vape Matrix pod the other week. They've now bought an adapter out for that as well, so you can put a 510 on there as well, Ooh. which is different. Well, not different because every bugger's doing it now. I suppose it's going to be a way of heating up these uh, RBA coils and everything. Well, Ian Morgan, hello. He's telling Tracer that Death Wish mods um, the isolator. Is it called the isolator? Uh, no. What the what? Their RTA? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, it's oh god. So many names. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, where's Paul when you need him? In the chat. Yeah. Isolation <laughs> tank. He says, yeah. yeah, it's barely staying alive. I have to turn it on every so often. It was uh, on offer recently, the isolation tanks on Evo, I think, wasn't it? Well, yeah, I, don't, I don't think it got 
that much praise, in all fairness. Um, but back in a sec, guys. I know oh. all the Reapers like it, though, don't they? Well, obviously, they are the Death Wish Mods team. Of, so. of course they do, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Reaper squad, isn't it? Or whatever they call them. I lose track of all these squad names. Oh, yeah, Reaper, the Reaper squad, yeah. 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 Did you get um? Did you get a Christmas card from the Vapor Expo? Anybody else get a Christmas card from the Vapor? No, Expo? I didn't get one. I didn't get one off Smock either. Smock got sent a load out to the reviewers, and I didn't even get one of that. I got a Christmas card from the Vapor Expo and four free tickets to the London Expo. Oh yeah. Um, but I won't be going because it's February. But if anybody wants one, I have four free day tickets to the Vapor Expo in London. Uh, hit me up. And I um, do as well. I had a set sent through. You've got a set ticket for it, and I have not yet. Sorry? <laughs> I've actually asked for some press passes because um maybe going to pop down. Um, I don't know yet. It's not set in stone. Uh, there's a few things that I'm um, involved with behind the scenes, so I may pop down for a day and do a flying visit. I don't know yet. Depends on negotiations with the wife. Yeah. yeah that I mean, wouldn't be... No, wouldn't happen for me, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure... I, I'm assuming we're all doing uh, Birmingham in May. May, definitely, yeah. Well, I'll... I'll uh, yeah, we'll press pass in a minute. Oh, do I get Because he's not a DWM fan. I actually like him. I really want to own one on a Max, and I still oh. don't. I'm not, I reviewed I'm... the uh, Death Trap, and that's really nice as well. I actually really like the RDA. I'm not yeah. a major fan of single coils. No. But I actually like the RDA quite a lot. I'm not the biggest uh, DWM fan in the world, to be honest with you. Um, I know oh, there's some of that just that's cool, you know. Oh, oh, a really nice ripper. Ripper. oh wow. I really want a ripper. Just so I can outsize Chris. Why don't I do that anyway with my uh... Oh, what's the date in May? Anyone know it's, for it's in May? The first to the third. Is it early May, is it? It was normally end of May, isn't it? No, it's first to the third. Oh, that's yeah, exactly. yeah. They actually released two days, didn't they? And then I hope it is because I've booked the hotel. <laughs> 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 I've booked the hotel for me and Paul. So, uh... yeah, first to the third, Mr. Otaku has confirmed. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, I've already booked the hotel for me and uh, for me and Otaku. So we're doing Nando's. Ooh, Paul's never been to Nando's. Monday, Monday. I know, mate. My wife's well jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to get some money together though somehow but you know No, no is quite nice Right, yeah, I'm going to have cool. to jump guys, I've got family things to sort out and Yeah, I'm going to call it a day shortly anyway Yeah, I'm already being moaned at and told off Rock and roll See you later Chris yeah. Family life for you, see you later guys day, Bye Bye and then sure. we'll chat, like last week. It's just like right. last week, all over again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, at least we'll finish the show before we come down to just two of us. Yeah, yeah. At least, you know, we've, we've done all the rewards. We've, we've talked about the important stuff, which is, it's, uh, it's a good thing to do. You know, we've done it again. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the final word will be advocate and educate, and that will be it for tonight. Yeah, well, because my voice is virtually gone again completely. Um, so uh, I'm not going to do a, a big speech for the end. I also want to thank everyone again for the votes and the nominations for the EC Click Awards. It really is nice to get some recognition for what we do here, the Alex V and me with the reviews as well. So thank you very much from me to you and from the guys as well. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> I was concentrating and in the zone. I was just about to say what you do. You know, it's, it's you, it's you, man. So uh, you, know, you guys are all part of it. Come on, I, that's why I put the LXV on the actual channel name as well. 
like I said to most of you guys, I actually prefer doing this side of things to the reviewing side now. Uh, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing the reviewing because I enjoy doing that as well. It's just, you're my brothers. and I love doing this show with you guys. I absolutely do. And, and the leaguers as well. Without them, we wouldn't be here. I mean, tonight we had some awesome figures watching us. And we've still got good figures now watching us. And we're just rabbiting on. Yeah, so thank we love you, John, you. for uh, being on again and and being there with me at the end. Let's see how much I cock up the ending. Well, let's see. Subscribe if you haven't, folks, and uh, hit that like. Yeah. Do everything you can. Thank you for watching, and congratulations, John, Tracy, and and the other winner. Is it another John as well? I can't remember now. Let's see how much I cock up the ending. Yeah.